Good morning, YouTube. So, last video was me getting that recurve bow, and since then I've been shooting every day. A uh, little over a week, but I've been putting the arrows down. Um, didn't warm up yet this morning. I wanted to grab the bow and see what my first three arrows did. Uh, just as a little confidence booster to go and hunt this morning. But we're going to go out to the hog spot. We're going to go to this different spot that I've not hunted in a little bit. Um, and see if we can't get within like 16 to 20 yards of a, of a boar. Um, but check this out. So this is my first three shots at 16 yards with the recurve bow. Like I said, I was not warmed up. <clears throat> so I'm pretty happy with that. Feeling good, feeling dialed. Let's get out in the woods. See you guys out there in a little bit. All right, guys. We made it out here. It's about 40 degrees. We got cloud cover, which is good. Um, they should be moving all day long. So I uh, I know some good spots where they like to waller and kind of travel through. I'm gonna kind of start there and we'll see if we can get on some fresh tracks and some fresh sign and and uh, <clears throat> try to get close to some hogs. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty awesome if we can we can get on some hogs for our first first time with the recurve bow. I guess if if anything is we're gonna relearn what they're doing in this area and be more prepared for the next time we come to this spot. So uh let's have some fun and enjoy God's creation and get on some hogs. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time. Keep me safe. Please guide me, dear Lord. I'm going to be ethical. And Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, guys, let's do it. We got some fresh tracks heading that way. It's a little bit of rooting. This stuff right here is really fresh, though. Bunch of hogs. So we're going to... This is kind of the area I was thinking... We go over the other side of this hill, there's water. And then it kind of leads into some, some thick cover where they like to bed. All right, we're coming down to the water. And it just tore up all in here. We're gonna take this valley down around up towards the bedding area and just see if we can just see some and hopefully the wind is good. See what happens. You can see right here where they, they come down and they cross the water up to another trail. We're just gonna keep following it. All the tracks are leading that way. some fresh rooting right here. We're gonna start slowing down a little bit and really listening, watching the wind. And, uh, right up there is a bedding area. It's huge. All right, now I just heard something up on top of this hill. This is super fresh. You can see we're up in this thick bedding area. So where the pigs 
like to go. So we're gonna slowly navigate ourselves through this stuff. See if we can't locate some pigs. We'll find one sleeping or something. We came around, <clears throat> cut straight through. Wind kind of changed a little bit. I think those hogs are somewhere over here. We're gonna keep cruising around. Wind's at our face. Guys, got on a group of about 15 hogs. I don't know if you can see it in the GoPro. I'm gonna try to zoom in on that, but I'm, I think the world winds world a little bit. They weren't super spooked, but I'm kind of cutting them off. Let's see if we can't get back on them. That was exciting. down in this draw. I can get my eyes on him and get him out of this thick stuff. All right, guys, we made it back to the truck. <clears throat> so I circled around the edge of that draw as we were watching those hogs go up, and I was gonna try to head them off. And when I got up there, I don't know where they went. Um, so uh, the, war the wind kept swirling up there though, so that was, once they, they caught my wind that first time, they realized something was weird, so they just kept pushing and pushing. I kept pushing them with that many hogs in one group. They won't hear you getting on them, but, because there's so many moving around. But anyways, definitely was super fun to get close. I mean, I got 15 yards from them uh, a couple times, but it was just too thick to take a shot. So we are heading up to another spot where there's a bunch of hogs in, and um, we're gonna see if we can't get close to one for this evening. Um, there's a big old scary boar in here so yeah we're gonna we're gonna see what happens stay tuned guys and let's get after it all right we got a go off road for a little bit get to this spot put that four wheel drive to work Woo! Saucy. Hopefully we don't get stuck in these ruts. Toyota just goes. guys we're gonna this is all kind of new area to me so <clears throat> I'm gonna cruise around and there's hawk sign everywhere 
I'm gonna see where I can if see if I can't find a spot where they they come up and down. And uh, we are gonna set up for the evening. Let's see if we can't get one. I just heard a couple hawks up this way. I don't know if they're they're bedded down and they're messing with each other. It kind of sounds like when a a boar is trying to mate the sow. I don't know if they're gonna come down or what. I just heard it again. I'm gonna try to go in and see what's up. Super fresh rooting and sign all right here. That's about where I heard them. A few minutes ago, I think they're on the other side of this hill now. Looks like there's a game trail that goes right around here. So I don't know if I want to wait it out. It's going to get dark pretty quick. I want to try to get in after them. That was awesome. He uh, he looked like he was about to just go on down the side hill, so I went for it, and uh, the arrow deflected off something, shot right over him. But it was still awesome. This two times today, we've gotten pretty close to hogs. That dude was like maybe ten yards away. I almost had a second shot. He paused for a second. And then, I guess the wind swirled something, um, and he he dipped out. But it's starting to get dark. Hope you guys enjoy this edit. Like, subscribe, and share. And see you guys on the next one.